Hi guys and welcome to a new video on Byte Geek. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install uh, an NVMe SSD into your motherboard and uh, just go through a couple of the uh, issues that I encountered after having done that. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so I'm going to now show you how to install a NVMe SSD drive into your PC. Uh, so in this instance it's going into a MSI uh, B550A Pro motherboard and my weapon of choice as it were is the um, uh, Sabrent Rocket NVMe 4.0 so this is a, a Gen 4 uh, SSD PCIe Gen 4 so this should be blindingly fast when it's uh, up and running uh, but today I'm just going to show you how to install this into your PC. So now that we've got the side panel off the case, you can get a better look at uh, what's inside. Uh, now this particular motherboard comes with two uh, NVMe uh, slots. Uh, so we have um, one down here, uh, very close. To the CPU and the uh, G where the GPU is located and then we have another one here uh, which is uh, kind of like this it's the secondary slot within the case within the board sorry so what I'm actually going to do given the proximity of this slot to the, uh, the CPU and the, and the GPU I'm actually just going to lift out the GPU to uh, to aid in this installation. Obviously I'm doing all of this with the power off at the moment. There you go, so that's the graphics card out. So we'll just pop that down for a second out of the way. Okay, so you can just get a slightly better look there. That's the uh, primary slot there. And um, with this being the primary one, what you actually get uh, on the slot is you, you actually get a heatsink for your NVMe uh, drive that's going to go in. So this particular version of the SSD, uh, I've bought this without the heatsink. You can buy ver a version with a heatsink, but obviously because I've already got that, I don't need that uh, conveniently. This has uh, got teeny tiny screws on it. Which means I'm going to need a teeny tiny screwdriver. Now, pretty certain that when this cover comes off there will actually be uh, kind of like a thermal pad underneath here as well so that's what needs to go on to uh, you peel that off and then attach it onto your NVMe drive with that uh, heatsink off you can actually see the uh, what you get you various screws fixing positions so obviously the NVMe uh, drive that you put in could be full length, it could be shorter than that. Uh, so you, you have to pick the most appropriate one. What we'll do, we just get inside this packet. So there you go, it comes in a nice little uh, case and a uh, little booklet there. This is all very swish. And uh, that is the the drive itself. That is it. So obviously, one thing you should always be careful of when you're taking thing, these things apart is not to throw away any of the screws. So in this instance, with the motherboard, you actually get three uh, screws for the uh, mount holes here, or if you're moving it. So we're going to need those. What I've done now, I've taken the tape off the back of the uh, heatsink that comes with the motherboard. 
and I've got my NVMe drive there. So just so you can see uh, the drive here, so it kind of goes in a little bit like um, SO DIMMs. I suppose if you've ever fitted any of those to a laptop before, so they go in, it goes in at an angle, and then you uh, you push it down, and uh, obviously you would you would put your little screw on that there, and then the idea is is that the uh, the heatsink that comes with the motherboard then sits on top of that. Take one of the screws that came with the motherboard. These are very very small screws, so you know you've really got to be careful not to not to lose these, but. Screwed on, and then put my motherboard supplied heatsink onto that. And make sure you put the screws in at both ends. And that's it. So as I say, you can have two NVMe drives on the B550 platform. Uh, second one being here. Um, but if you do that, then you are not getting as much performance on the second drive. So um, you definitely need to make sure that you know if you've only got the single drive, you put it into the uh, the uh, the slot that's closer to the CPU and uh, you'll get maximum performance from that then. So um, I'm gonna put this all back together and, uh, and then I will get this set up, get my system imaged uh, over, and then we will uh, do some performance testing on this. So, Hope you guys will come back and see the next video on this where I show you how fast this thing actually actually runs. Gen 4 NVMe SSD. So the main issue I encountered after installing the NVMe drive into the uh, system uh, was that it wasn't recognized by the BIOS. Uh, the drive was fully recognized within Windows 10. Uh, I could format it, I could uh, image the current um, boot uh, boot drive and uh, on, onto the new one that all worked fine but when I rebooted the system with everything else uh, disconnected apart from the NVMe drive it just wouldn't recognize it at all and you can see uh, here this is the, the BIOS um, this is obviously this has got the uh, boot drive uh, SSD in there at the moment but there's no NVMe drive listed there. I installed the latest version of the uh, BIOS of the MSI web website. Um, so it's the latest version apart from the, the beta one that's currently out and uh, still no sign of the new drive showing uh, in the BIOS. So did a bit of reading up on this and uh, it's not something which is just limited to MSI boards, seems to be quite a few other boards as well and uh, you know people having varying levels of uh, look with this, uh, some people it just works absolutely fine um, but others you know it just doesn't it just doesn't seem to, to work straight out of the box so what I ultimately ended up doing was um, reinstalling Windows 10 so basically disconnected every drive apart from the M NVMe drive, booted off a USB stick and installed Windows 10, got that all up to date, got all the drivers on and uh, when, when that had finished, rebooted and there it was, it was in the BIOS and you can see that uh, on, on this little clip here. Uh, I was then able to reconnect all the other drives onto the system including the one uh, that was previously the, the boot drive in the system uh, without issue and um, yeah very very odd and it and it's it's performed absolutely fine ever since so uh, just one of those things if you do come across that you know if you're going to be installing one of these you might come across this 
uh, I'm sure there's probably another way you can get around this uh, but you know I wanted to get this done and show you potentially what uh, could actually happen obviously you've got two slots that you can try this drive in uh, I did that it didn't show up in either of them uh, in the BIOS so just an oddity really uh, but something to be aware of right guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button and subscribe to the channel uh, any questions drop them in the comments down below and I'll try and answer them uh, as, as best as possible but um, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video bye for now